I'm not going to have any trouble from you, am I? We're not going to do this. Got a big pointy stick and I will stick it in your muzzle. Okay, you just be over there then. That was the quickest rainstorm I've ever seen. Of course, now everything is slush underfoot. You are blocking the path, sir. Or madam. I'm just gonna steer around you. You can never be too cautious of wolves. Huh. <sighs> It really does feel like 7,000 steps. I'm probably not even halfway up yet. Alright, now look. There's no reason for me to talk to the Greybeards when I will. There is, but... What an offering bowl. Okay. Emblem 3. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times unafraid to war with dragons and their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. That makes sense? I mean, having encountered a couple of dragons, that... Yeah. If there... This seems like a decent offering. Shiny rock. There we go. Don't know it's who it's an offering to, but there it is. Yeah, having... Encountered a couple of dragons. I thought I just heard one. I can see how if there were more in the world, we wouldn't stand a chance. Unless we made peace with them, I guess. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna be a long walk. My legs are already starting to get sore. Alright, come on. Follow the goat. Oh, really? Who designed this path? Not me. <laughs> Although I understand that the terrain is not exactly forgiving, so... Another pilgrim, or something. Hey. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. Oh, I'm keeping my eye out. Huh? Uh, what are you doing up here? You seem a little out of the way. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. I admire your dedication. Did you hear the Greybeards call Dovahkiin? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Haha. <laughs> yeah. All right then. Yeah, I was in uh, White Run. You don't mind if I squeeze past you and read this, do you? Emblem four. Kine called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war raged, dragon against tongue. And none of this means anything to me, really? Dragon war rage, dragon against tongue. So tongue would be men who could use the voice, right? Gonna assume? Yeah. Sorry, just talking out loud, thinking out loud. As I do. Oh, wow. That's a long way down. Uh, I think the air is getting thinner up here. Getting a little lightheaded. And I'm not terribly surprised about this. Oh, let's not get stuck on the rocks. It's easy to catch a foot or a boot or both. 
All these big stone things. Hello, bird. <laughs> Alright. Just gonna... Come flopping out of the sky in front of me, that makes sense. It is windy up here. It doesn't feel that windy, but it's, it's blowing snow everywhere. Okay, what's this one? Emblem 5. Man prevailed, shouting Elduin out of the world. Providing for all that their voice was- Proving for all that their voice was- Their voice, too, was strong. Although their sacrifices were many-fold. Okay, so the Dragon War happened. Alduin got shouted out, and then... Yeah. Must have been a lot of casualties then. I assume. I mean, wars tend to have a lot of casualties just by virtue of being wars, right? Oh, look! I think that's the barrow. I don't know what that is. Odd. Okay, but yeah, that's- I think that's Bleak Falls Barrow. It means Whiterun should be just there. Which means if I'm lucky, that I might be able to find a way down here so that I don't have to go all the way around. And here's another one of those tablet things. Emblem 6. With roaring tongues, the sky children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, while the dragons withdrew from this world. The first empire was... Uh, I don't know which one that was. I'm not caught up with my history, as it turns out. Okay. I'm not sure how any of these birds are surviving up here, but... I guess they are. It's surprisingly quiet up here. I guess it's not surprising, but it is quiet. Well, this is kind of a precarious overlook, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, look, there's Riverwood down there. Emblem 7? The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jurgen Windcaller began, began his seven-year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. I, I feel like I need to brush up on my history. Because I don't know... Wow, clear blue sky everywhere. Well, uh, except over the Sea of Ghosts. There's just perpetually storms. How strong voices could fail. I have no idea who Jurgen Windcaller is, but, uh... I don't really care either, to be honest. I mean, I kind of care, I... Look, I'm just here to deliver some supplies and then head down to Whiterun so that this sapling doesn't croak. Hello, Blue Jays. Another one. Emblem 8. Jurgen Windcaller chose silence and returned. The 17 dispu dis disputants? disputants could not shout him down. Jurgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. Okay, so... Jürgen is the one who founded High Hrothgar, then. I will keep that in mind. That seems... Interesting. So, uh, I'll take that to mean that 17 people who could also shout kind of... didn't do a great job of it. Lots of birds. And there's Dragon's Reach. I'm kind of amazed that I can see it from up here. Wow. Alright. Uh... Eh. 
It looks like I could probably get down this way, but it might... Uh, I think I'd rather... Oh, wow. I just got a huge chill. That doesn't have anything really to do with the weather. Uh, here's another one. Hi, Talos! What are you doing up here? <laughs> I feel like that must be a more modern addition to the, uh, thingy. Emblem 9. For years, all silent, the Greybeard spoke one name. Tiber Septum. Stripling? Stripling, then? Was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovahkiin. Oh, that's why there's a Talos statue over this particular one. That makes sense. So, you... were also called... I'm not going to, uh... entertain that particular line of thinking too long, because... Jeez, this, this place gives me the creeps. It's... Uh, I'm fine. It seems... familiar? Emblem 10. The voice is worship. Follow the inner path. Speak only in true need. I mean, I can get behind that if the voice can kill someone, to be honest. Makes sense to me. <sighs> okay, well, I made it up. Let's drop off. I'm going to assume this is the offering chest. Let's drop off the supplies. There. Uh, okay, no. I have to get back to Whiterun. But the Greybeards did summon me. Okay, look, Whiterun is just down there. I probably... I can probably get down there. Look at that! You can see the Shrine of Azura from here! <laughs> I, I... I wonder if this weird feeling is just because it's really high up and there isn't a lot of air. I have enough time to get back down. Uh, I don't... I mean, I haven't been able to shout so far. I haven't tried, but... I mean... That's a lot of responsibility. It's... Tiber Septum got called up too, the same way. I think I might be reeling a bit, thinking that I would possibly have anything in common with him. I mean, that's... that's a lot. Oh, whoa. Okay. Fine. Alright, I'm up here. I might as well. Alright, Tava. Kine. Talos. 
Akatosh. Whoever else. You win. <sighs> I guess I'm gonna do this. Alright, let's go talk to the Greybeards. Oh boy.